I'm excited to show you what one of these Advanced Air Mobility or AAM vehicles might look like. This is one idea that NASA and many others are studying, and there's a lot of other ideas out there too. It's called a Lift Plus Cruise VTOL, or Vertical Takeoff and Landing. When you first look at it, it looks a little bit like an airplane, but also a little bit like a helicopter. We can see that it has eight rotors, each of which generates thrust, a force that pushes the aircraft into the air. There are eight of these rotors that work together in a system called distributed electric propulsion. Here, motors, speed controllers, and rotors all work to elevate and lift this aircraft into the air. Let's take a look at what that might look like. The rotors are spinning up and we are airborne. Now the aircraft is hovering and we can take a look around and see it from a couple different angles. All right, while it's hovering, I'll point out the cabin. This is where passengers or cargo might go. Initially, these AAM vehicles will be piloted by a human, but in the future, they could fly on their own. In order to stay stable and have a nice smooth flight, these vehicles need a very smart brain. That brain is called the flight controller. It manages all the signals from the rotors and other sensors on the aircraft to help keep the aircraft stable and on a smooth flight. Let's land and take a look at a few final features. Okay, in addition to these eight rotors, we could see that this aircraft also has a wing like a typical airplane. That wing generates lift to support the aircraft when it's in forward flight. To move forward, it has this propeller on the rear that is a pusher propeller. Now I'm just showing it animated here, but this would actually push the aircraft forward in cruise. Remember, a wing will only generate lift if it's in forward flight. It won't generate lift unless it's moving forward. So in order to get up into the air and get going, we need these rotors to help it lift off.